let's talk about the worst moves the 49ers have made. The worst moves John Lynch has made since he became the general manager. And then let's talk about the best moves because he's made some great ones. The reason I want to start with the not so good ones is because we're talking about like D Ford, and Tevin Coleman. So let's mention the worst moves the Niners have made, specifically John Lynch. Um, if you want to see the replays of my Periscope, you have to watch it on a laptop, not a, a mobile device. Sorry. D Ford. I mean, he's a really good player, but you don't trade a second round pick and give a guy an $85 million extension who has all these injury issues. They were there. The Niners should have known. They did their, they did their homework on, on his film, on the type of player he is. They got that right. Excellent player, perfect fit for the defense. But the Chiefs clearly knew something about this guy's body, ability to play into the future, and were scared off. And the Niners didn't get the memo on that. So D Ford is in the list of worst moves the Niners have made. I mean, traded a second round pick for a guy who hasn't even played 400 snaps for him in two years. Two, Quan Alexander, a um, lot of money, can't stay healthy, can't be in the right place. Not the worst move they've done, but. They're paying him like he's Navarro Bowman. He's Quan Alexander. So a guy they probably cut next year. Worse than that was Reuben Foster. That was a terrible, terrible draft pick, uh, especially because the Niners said they would have taken him with a third pick if, had Solomon Thomas not been available. I mean, that would have been almost arguably a firing offense. Thank goodness for their sake that didn't happen because you take him at the end of the first round, you can move on. Um, and the thing with Reuben Foster, it wasn't just that they took him despite the character concerns because there were, I mean, he got kicked out of the combine for yelling at a student intern who does that. Right. Uh, it was a lady, I think. I mean, anyway, I think a lot of teams took him off their draft board because of perceived anger issues or something. I don't know, but what concerned me the most with him wasn't necessarily his personality, although that was very concerning, but it was his body. I feel like the Niners for years have always felt like, well, you know, injuries in football happen. Uh, it's fluky. My attitude is if a guy's body's breaking down before the NFL, it's going to break down in the NFL. And Reuben Foster's body was breaking down before the NFL. Like he was just a human missile in college. He would throw himself into people as fast as he could. He did it to Leonard Fournette and kind of knock both people out. He'd knock himself out. He'd knock the other guy out. He'd get back up and people be like, man, it was tight. Man, look at that guy. It's like, all right. And then he did that in the NFL and his, he was like 225 pounds, not that big. I mean, a full 15 pounds smaller than Patrick Willis. And he was the one not getting up after his every game. He'd knock himself out. It was like the shoulder, the head. It was like, no, his body's not going to hold up. I think to me, the ability to play football without getting hurt a lot is a skill. It's not all fluky uh, luck. The ability to play that particular game without falling down, getting hurt, to have a certain grace and durability, it's a skill. And I think the Niners are learning that because they've gotten burned. I mean, they thought D Ford would just magically become dependable. No. Quan Alexander, no. It doesn't work that way. Once the body goes, it goes. That was some real I, – I got that from a uh, fortune cookie. Once the body goes, it goes. Confucius said that. Okay. Um, so that was a bad one. Drafting CJ Beathard. My God. Third round. Um, drafting Solomon Thomas with the third pick. Second pick. Third pick? It was the third pick. That was maybe the worst one of all time. Um, <laughs> am I missing anyone? The one guy that was on this list for a long time that I think might be on the other list now. 